Okay, guys, uh, welcome yeah. to hydraulic systems, marine hydraulic. I have a question. Give me an example of a hydraulic system that you have in your boat. Oh, the steering, the hydraulic steering system. Uh, yeah, the actuator for the garage door, that's okay. A passerelle. The passerella, that's okay. The swim platform. The swim platform, they have actuators. What's a passerella? It's like the a passerella bridge that comes is the out telescopic ladder. Like a ladder. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Uh, anchors? Excuse me? Sometimes the anchors, the motors for the anchors. In some cases, it's yeah. hydraulic. In some cases, it's electrical AC or DC. Stabilizers. Stabilizer, yeah. The uh, fins. Fins, yeah. Is a sea keeper? Uh, no. Yeah, also the so gyro is hydraulic. But uh, what about the freshwater system? And, uh, there you go, the freshwater system. Is hydraulic? Yeah. Uh, yes, it is. Of course, fresh water, hydraulic, fluid. Fresh is a hydraulic system. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> what about the the cooling system in your engine with the coolant and, uh, the, tra and the heat the heat exchanger? Yeah. Oh, this awesome. is a hydraulic yeah. system. Uh, what about the lubrication system? It's a hydraulic system. The fuel too, no? Yeah, there are a lot of hydraulic systems. If you have a fluid, it's hydraulic. I have a question. Uh, you mentioned, for example, uh, the system uh, for uh, the cylinder, the actuators to for the garage door. And uh, what is the difference between that hydraulic system and uh, the fresh water system? No, no. Don't respond to me, ah, because one is with water and the other is with uh, uh, hydraulic oil. No, 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 no. Pay attention. The system, the hydraulic system for the actuators is completely closed. closed. Ah, if you have a leak, you have problems, no? <laughs> if you have a leak, oh, what happened? The garage door is going, ah, oh, more than this, ah, oh, or go down this one and this one, no, or something like this, no? Okay, it's a closed, it's hermetic system. However, the fresh water, it's closed, but uh, when you open the faucet on the shower, what happened? The pressure goes down in that point, and you hear that the pump yeah, yeah. start. To bring it back and uh, when the pump recovers the pressure in the system, it stop. When the pressure goes down again because some, somebody opened a faucet, what happened? Oh, yeah, and the pump start and stop. That system is semi-closed. Excuse me, I have a question about the lubrication system in the engines, diesel and gasoline. Do you remember? Lubrication system. That system, lubrication system, is uh, closed or semi-closed? Uh, Re refresh, re remember the process, the path of the oil in the engine. Close. You remember where it start uh, the, the, the circuit? Uh, in the, in the oil pan, because the pump suction the oil. After that goes into the? Crankshaft. The bearings of the crankshaft. After that, the bearings of the cam. And after that, push rods and rocker arms. And what happened over there? Gravity. For gravity goes down. But what happened over there is atmospheric pressure. Ah, here in the bottom was under pressure. That's the pressure that you have on the bearings. But over there is atmospheric. Ah, it's semi, it's semi closed. It's not completely hermetic. Yeah, because you open the, the, the cap on the, on the valve cover and this is atmospheric pressure. Good? All right. What is the secret when uh, the system is completely closed, is hermetic, in comparison with the other one, semi-closed, for example, the fresh water system? Is that uh, in this system, while the system is closed, the pressure is constant? The pressure is constant. In that system, the pressure it's constant if it's closed. When you open in one point, go down. Here, it's constant all the time. Okay, in this system with constant pressure, there are different types of fluids. Hydraulic fluid, coolant, some actuators work with coolant. Uh, water, air, pneumatic, in the semi-closed semi also, different type of fluids. It's not because the fluid. It's because it is completely closed or semi-closed, all right? Okay, we are going to analyze a little uh, the principle of uh, the hydraulic system. Who is the genius of the hydraulic systems? Monsieur Pascal, who is the genius of the mechanical systems? Mr. Newton. 
And who is the genius of the electrical system? Mr. Ohm. Um, for me, it's Mr. Tesla. And, uh, okay, <laughs> Mr. Ohm. Um. The Ohm um law, you remember? And I'm going to check quickly. In mechanical system, guys, force is equal to mass times acceleration. You remember the second law of Newton? What is the third law of Newton, you remember? If you apply a force in this element in this direction, the element reacts with other force in opposite direction. The third law of Newton. This is the second one. This is the most famous. And uh, uh, this is in mechanical system, and uh, the, the doctor is Mr. Newton, no? Uh, what about in an uh, electrical system? Uh, the doctor is Mr. Ong. And uh, what is the formula? The magic formula? Voltage. Voltage is equal, equal, equal intensity times resistance. resistance. Uh, it's exactly the same. <coughs> the voltage is equivalent to the force. And uh, what about uh, the hydraulic system? Uh, Pascal, uh, the force is equal, is equal to the pressure times the area. area. <laughs> no? Yeah? Or pressure is equal to force over area. Those three formulas are, are related, my friends. This one related with this, and this one related with this. Those three formulas. You remember uh, what is the typical formula in mechanical systems to calculate the force that I need exerts uh, in this uh, pipe to, to move it, that element, if the fulcrum is separated 20 inches, you remember? You remember that, that equation? This is the fulcrum, and this is the way that I need to move it. And I want to apply a force here, and the distance the small distance is V, and the, the big distance is D capital letter. What is the equation to solve it, that situation? The total weight is equal to the Ah, oh, the force times the big distance is equal to the weight times the small distance. You remember that, guys? That formula? Yes, okay. I need apply less force. Okay, you need more pi. No? Ah, more distance, less force to move that element. Ah, if you know this, the way and the distance, you can calculate the force. Yes, I can move it elements, but uh, I need uh, too much, too much lever. No? In some cases, I don't have a space for that lever. You can use the same formula with ERs. You remember? You remember when you have a couple of gears, guys, and uh, the big gear engage with a small gear. You remember, guys? And the diameter of this, the diameter of this, and the torque, you, can, you have the same situation like the lever when you have gears. It's exactly the same, exactly the same. And uh, what about the force here? Ah, you say that the force times radius is equivalent to force times radius. You remember that? For torque. I explained that one in intro. Guys, check your book of intro. Because the torque in this point is the same for both of them. And torque is equal to force times radius. Yeah? The torque one is equal to torque two. In this point, I have a this torque produced for this force and this radius. And this torque produced for uh, this force times the radius. That's okay, guys? All right, but this is elementary, once again. This is kindergarten. You have limitations in mechanical systems. The limitation is the distance of the gears, the diameter of the gears, or the distance of the fulcrum. You remember? You have limitations. What happened in hydraulic systems? In hydraulic systems, you multiply the force and the torque hundreds of times only when you change the diameter of the cylinder. No? When you change a small parameter, you have a big result in hydraulic systems. 
this is why in heavy machinery you use hydraulic systems how you lift the boats the big boats in the marinas with the travel lift and the travel lift is completely hydraulic hydraulic forces precise and you lift boats of hundreds of tons with hydraulic and the joystick beep, 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 beep. and the boat beep, beep. wow with this movement yes my friend wow it's not mechanical with a the joystick yeah, 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 yeah. no and remote most of the it's, time yeah in some cases and you see the guy with, with the console control. here beep, 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 beep. and the and the boat beep, 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 beep. yes or not yes sir it's completely hydraulic Ah, what is the advantage of hydraulic versus mechanic? In hydraulic, you multiply the force and torque hundreds of times in comparison with the mechanical. And you, you don't need to apply that force of the pipe. No, you need to apply this force. Or with a push button, with an electrical signal, with solenoids. This is the advantage. And this is why in the boats, in, in mega yachts, in mega yachts, boats bigger than uh, 85 feet, all the electrical systems are converted in hydraulics. 